Hey guys, WillyX here. This is another Will It Float video. Actually, I haven't done these things in a long time. So, yeah, I'm only going to be floating at least one boat this time since I'm low on boat parts. And this is going to be another Lego boat, so this is the boat right here. Uh, don't ask what this is. I kind of screwed up. And I was actually originally going to put the cab up here, but I'm going to test that both ways. So as you can see, I'm putting a little amount of water because I want to see what happens. So I'm just going to drop this into the water and we're going to see what happens. Is this thing going to sink like the Titanic or is this thing going to stay afloat? Let's see. And I kind of spoke a little too soon. Um, I sort of miscalculated. Yeah, the cab's weight. I want to see what happens when it doesn't have that. Whoops. Too much water intake of water. It kind of works with that cab, but then again, it's tilting onto its starboard side, as you can see. So yeah, now the final test is what happens when the stupid thing has its cab on the back section, like so. And I can see where I made the mistake. See, this side has more of a weight, so this thing, this ain't gonna float, son. Like cancer doesn't save this boat. So yeah, you're probably gonna reckon boats capsizing onto their starboard and not their port side because, well, Starboard's the more logical area for them to sink. And you're probably just asking, well, what are you going to do now? Are you just going to leave the boat like this? I pretty much would do that, except... Well, how else are you going to end off your video? Well, one logical answer. Let it undrain the water. There. That is how I'm going to end my video. That is how you make a shipwreck in real life. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you haven't done it.